Hello! In this tutorial, I will cover creating a basic alias to perform simple or repetitive tasks for you, as well as how to make an alias with an optional argument to cast cure wounds on somebody else or yourself if you don't specify someone. To start, let's click on aliases. You can see here that there are several pre-installed aliases which come with Mudlet. I'll go over these in a later video, but for now, let's click on Add Group and name this group Alias Tutorial then click Save Item and Activate. We need to click Activate as groups in aliases start disabled. Let's now make our first alias by clicking Add Item and naming this alias Check Pack. We then give it a pattern, which will determine when this alias is executed. I'm going to use caret CP dollar sign because I want to make sure this fires only when I type exactly CP as the command. For those who have not watched the basic regular expression video, the caret matches the beginning of the string and the dollar sign matches the end. Then in the code box here at the bottom, I will put send look in pack and click save item. The alias itself is automatically activated so long as no issues are found in the pattern or the script at the bottom. Then when I go back to the main window, and type CP and hit enter, you can see that it sends look in pack. When an alias matches in this way, the original text, in this case CP, is not sent to the game. So all your game knows is you sent look in pack as a command. For an alias as simple as this, we could just type look in pack in this command line here. But for anything more complicated than sending a single command like this, you'll need to use the script box, so I recommend getting used to using it from the start. Now let's look at a slightly more complicated example. I'll click Add Item as before and name this one Cure Wounds. The pattern will start similarly, caret CW, but then it changes slightly. We'll add an opening parenthesis here to start a capture group, then a space and dot plus, and the closing parenthesis to end the capture group. I briefly touch on capture groups in the basic regular expression video, but this is going to let us use this information later. I'll then finish it with a question mark and a dollar sign. The question mark here is new. In regular expressions, a question mark means zero or one of, so this alias will match on CW all by itself, or CW followed by a space and anything else, which will be the target. If you want the argument to be required, just leave this question mark off. Here in the script box, we will put this into action. This is covered in the basic scripting video, but we start with the keyword local followed by target. This tells Lua that this target variable is special to this alias, and it won't touch any other target variables or be touched by them. Then we set it equal to matches to, which stores the first capture group, the space and whatever the dot plus matches, or self, if the argument wasn't included. The reason this is matches two and not matches one is that for all aliases and triggers, matches one holds the full match, which leaves the first capture group as matches two the second capture group as matches three, and so on. So this line says, make a special target variable just for me and put the capture group in it if there is one. Otherwise, set it to self. Then on the next line, we use send cast your wounds on dot dot target to have it actually send the command. The dot dot tells Lua to add the string held in the variable target onto the end of the cast cure wounds on string, and then send sends the combined result onto the game. We then want to click save item in order to save the item and activate it. Moving back to the main window, you can see if I type CW on its own, it casts cure wounds on self. But if I type CW space Bob, it casts cure wounds on Bob. These two examples should hopefully serve to guide you through many of the aliases you'll need to make in Mudlet. In today's video, we went over how to create a simple alias, as well as how to create an alias with an optional argument you can pass in to change that alias's behavior. In future videos, we will begin covering the different types of triggers, how to set up triggers and aliases which do the same things using functions, and the other features of Mudlet. I hope this video was informative and helpful, and I look forward to creating and sharing the next one with you all. Until then, happy mudding!